everyone. Welcome to Crochet Day by Day. Today is Wednesday, January 17th, and I have a chest cold. <sighs> so I am home from work, but I have to do a little bit of work from home for like the next hour. And I figured while I'm home today, I'm going to try and rest, of course, but I also... Um... <laughs> I do not feel very good at all. I'm sure you can hear it. Um, I lost my water. Oh God. There it is. Okay. Um, so I figured I can probably finish my white sweater today in between resting, which I have a hard time resting, but I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and rest. But I figured I have like half of a sleeve done. And then I need to do the other sleeve of my white sweater. So I'm going to work on that. See? It's about halfway. I have to count this, the rows. But I'm going to get that taken care of and I'll take you along with me. I had bigger plans. I'm glad I don't have COVID. I did do a test. It's not COVID. I just have a chest cold. My chest hurts so freaking bad. And, um, yeah, I don't feel good. <laughs> so hopefully I can get enough rest today. I probably have to order some medicine because everything that I have is expired. Like, I haven't been sick in such a long time that I'm like, oh my god, I need to get new medicine. It'll work, but it's just not going to be as potent. So I feel the sickness, delusions coming in, very foggy, um, but this is very simple to do. So I think I can do this, and I want to get it done. I'd like to have it done. My friend has a wedding on Saturday, and I wanted to crochet something, and I'm just like, holy crap, am I going to get through this? Am I going to get through this? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do, and I just wanted again to take you along with me <sighs> while we crochet through sickness. How about that? We're crocheting through sickness. Oy vey. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> definitely been a couple of days since I last filmed for you guys but the good news is because I was sick for so many days on Wednesday Thursday Friday I could not work I had like the worst chest cold and I think you can still kind of hear it like I'm getting over it today is Wednesday so I'm still aiming for one video a week so this is probably gonna go up later when I'm done here but I wanted to show you I finished the sweater and I'm gonna try it on here for you in just a little bit but I wanted to show you something else Hold on. I am almost done with the second one I just have like four more three or f well 
two to four more rows and then the cuff on this one, which shouldn't take very long at all, but it says really beautiful royal blue. And I, of course, will link the pattern I used. I just did the Rocky Mountain pattern from MJ's Off the Design, Off the Hook Design crochet. And I did a solid color instead of the changing color. Really simple, really easy. It's just, that's what I did. Okay. Um, and I'll link the yarn for this one. And this yarn, actually, welcome to my yarn room, by the way. You see all this behind me? This is just, I made an attempt to start cleaning and got sick. So this is how it ended up. But, <laughs> so I got this yarn, this blue yarn from a local yarn shop called Mariposa Yarn. And it's this Queensland, uh, what does it say? Katmandu fingering and they have this in the store they have it on their website so I'll link their website but I'll also try and find additional links for this yarn specifically it was not cheap it's like $25 per skein and I bought a total of six I have one left this might get me through the cuff I think it will so I'll have one left that I can use and I think it's like 400 and some odd where is it? 425 yards. It is a blend. It's 85% wool, 10% silk, and 5% cashmere. So it feels pretty nice. It's very wooly still, like kind of thick, maybe a little scratchy, itchy. It doesn't itch, but that's kind of the texture, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's nice and smooth too. I don't know. I'll link what I can for you down below. I want to finish this and try these on for you later today. Or in a little bit. It is 5.04. I'm having coffee. Trying to get better. Had a weird day. I'm in a little bit of a weird mood and a bit of a funk. Getting sick really kind of like throws me off. I'm sure it does for everyone else too. And holy moly. I'm just kind of like feeling a little down at the moment. With all these goals that I want to do. And I'm realizing... <sighs> I don't really know if I have time to make like all these right now anyway to make seasonal st uh, plushies so what I've decided to do <laughs> I don't know if you guys uh, watch passionate Kelsey but today she released a pattern for scrunchies on how to make the scrunchie and I was like, you know what, that's what I can do with a lot of this velvet yarn that I don't know what to do with. And just stockpile them and try to sell them on my Etsy for like in bundles or however many, you know. I think that would be a good idea. I also have a bunch of this like, you know, chenille yarn from everything that I've done. So I figure, you know, they're quick, they're fast. I can make them. I can get through some of my yarn stash, which will be nice for me to <laughs> get through so I have more room. Mostly to put stuff away and also for more yarn, right? <laughs> so for more yarn. Also, um, I don't, I am definitely obsessed with MJ's designs because they're easy enough to follow. However, I remember saying I wanted to kind of push myself this year. And what that entails basically is <laughs> trying her cable knit blanket. It's an intermediate pattern, and I'm like, yeah, I got this, but um, I'm stuck. So I'm glad she has a tutorial, but I want to try and use, like, a bunch... I got a bunch of this, like, this color yarn from Lion Brand Heartland. This one's called King's Canyon. I have a whole bunch of this for blanket blanket length and, and other colors for length, like, like 12 to 15 skeins of like 250 or 85 yards each. I forget what it is. It's in that range. That'll give me a decent sized blanket. So I want to make blankets. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in a funk. I'm in a funk. I'm also feeling low because like I really want to run these 5Ks. But of course last week I was like let's start running again. Got sick and I'm like when can I run again? Not today. I can barely breathe. <laughs> Ah, but anyway, I'm just on a little bit of a tangent because I'm feeling weird. And I'm just, I uh, want to shout out to you, want to talk to you guys. I enjoy talking to you guys. 
It makes me feel better. Um, even though it's not totally crochet related. I think I'm also in a funk because I did not crochet uh, at all yesterday. I was just too busy doing other things. When I got home, it was a hectic day. Today was a little hectic. But yeah, I enjoy talking with you guys. I enjoy crocheting. I want to finish this up. I'm, I don't know how long it'll t take. So this video might be up a little bit late. I hope you're still here. I'm just, I'm just talking. I don't know how long this video is actually going to be. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys, and I'll try these on at the end of the video. I do want to let you guys know that I created a GoFundMe to help with the racing, the, the race, the 5k races this year. I'll link it below if you feel inclined to donate. Obviously, you don't have to. There's other links on there to help me and support this channel. The best thing you can do to support this channel is just watch my videos all the way through. That's all. Perfect. Free. Free. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. There's some links down below. And I just want to thank you guys, of course, for always for being here. And let's go ahead and finish crocheting our beautiful blue sweater. And then we'll try these on here in just a few minutes. Jack, what's up, buddy? Wow! Hi! <laughs> wow! Hi, bud. What are you doing? You gonna help? Yeah. <laughs> Jack, buddy, what are you doing? Oh, let me get you off this real quick. You want to say hi? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look, they're over here. Look over here. Oh, go on. Okay. Go on. We're in the tiniest space in my office, and they, the dogs always find a way. Like, Ruby is on the bed. You can't see her. <laughs> it's a hot mess. Anyway, five rows to go, and then the cup. So let's do a little bit in here. And then we'll do the cuff. It's about 5.25. You know what? Let me take my watch off because when I crochet with it on, it thinks I'm doing more than I am. And I'm just like, holy crap, how did I actually meet that ring today? Because I crocheted with my watch on. Anyway, how's everyone doing? How are your projects going? How's your health? Sorry, I've cut myself off a little bit. I just wanted to show you show you so you could see what I'm doing. Uh. Anyway, let me tell you what I did with each of these. For this yarn, I actually decided to make the large size because it's just a little bit bigger than the yarn I used for this. It's still a fingering weight, but you know when you can tell the difference. So I made a large on this one. For the pattern if you guys are going to use the same yarn and you want like a bigger size like an extra large size or just oversized which is you know my vibe a lot of people's vibe so i made the large and for the rows on the body i did uh 35 rows from where you join it to where you join to make your sleeves okay so 35 rows from when you start making the body. Is that helpful? And then for each arm, I did a total of 38 rows. Now I have tried on the white one and I feel like the arms are a little short. I haven't blocked it yet though. So that might make a difference when I do block it. I'm gonna just steam block it, I think. But I'm going to try them on anyway. And I'm going to be wearing these all the time because I love these. That's one thing that my friend Kelsey, she has some goals this year for her crochet as well. If you want to go follow her on TikTok, it's Monochrome Designs. I'll share that with you. Um, she is adorable. 
I love Kelsey so much and I love what she's doing. But she had a very fun goal that I was like, oh yeah, that's a really good one. And it's to crochet things that like she's actually gonna use. Let me just slouch down. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I love that idea. And of course, I like making gifts. Oh, with that said though, because I got sick, I didn't make those gifts. I didn't make the gift for my friend's wedding, which I did still go to. It was an outdoor wedding. And um, in the snow, which was beautiful, it was fine. I had a fever, so it was great. It helped me uh, cool down. <laughs> ah. um, so yeah, it was really nice, but I didn't get to make the lovebirds that I wanted to make for her, which I'll make. I just didn't get to because I was like, I tried, but... <sighs> Following an any new pattern while I was sick was not gonna not gonna happen. No way. No way. So I um didn't do that. I didn't make the thank you gifts for my coworkers. I'll still do it. But you know what I want to do first, which I think is gonna bring me some joy. First, um, I'm gonna make a scrunchie once I'm done with this, because I just want to do that. I want to start something and finish it quickly. You guys ever get that way where you're like, let me just pick up something quickly. And then you just kind of go with it. That's what I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to do that when we're done here. We'll see how long it takes. It was 525 when I took my watch off. And yeah, so after that, oh, <laughs> I'm still not doing obviously that great health-wise. My brain fog is intense. I did not have COVID. I just had a terrible chest cold. Terrible. Um, so I'm going to make the Hobie Advent stuff. I really want to make that. I want that beautiful beanie. That yarn is just so beautiful. <sighs> and the little clutch and the uh, fingerless mitts and also the little like craft bag or honestly that's just like a cute little like it could be a makeup bag it could be any kind of bag right so that's what i'm gonna do so that'll be coming up and making those gifts will be coming up a few other things are coming up too definitely a weekly video even if it's just like a vlog style so you can see what i'm doing throughout the week whether i complete something or not because honestly for me crochet is about what brings it it brings me joy and i definitely feel feel it when i haven't crocheted in a few days because i feel funky i just feel like my anxiety just takes over or my depression takes over and for me personally, I don't like to medicate. I like to do other things that help me with those feelings because I've taken medication before and it honestly just did not work well for me. I just didn't like it. So all I'm doing is just blabbing at you guys. So if you <laughs> don't want to listen to me talk, um... I'll put a timestamp down there for you so you can jump to me trying on the sweaters and we could just go from there. But anyway, I guess I will stop for now. I'll put a time lapse for you so we can see um, how long it takes me to finish this last little piece. I just finished one row so I have four left to go now and it, that clearly went really fast in the last like, I'm talking for nine minutes. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and speed this up here for you. Five rows took 20 minutes. Now I need to go around to shrink this and make the cuff. But I'm gonna take a dinner break. And then I'll 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 do this off camera and then we'll come back and we'll 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 make a scrunchie. And then we'll try it on. Okay, see you in a second. 
Okay, we're done. <laughs> We've got both sleeves. Ta-da! And the cuff only took about 20 minutes also. So total work time, 40 minutes. Now it is not 40 minutes later. It is now 7.04. So, you know, I had dinner, all that. But this is done. Yes! I can't wait to try this on for you. But I, I want to make that um, scrunchy first. Now, I just realized because I'm still not feeling well and my brain is all over the place. If you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you're confused about the GoFundMe, if you're still here, I am planning on running pretty much every 5K that I can run this year in New Mexico, in Albuquerque, which is where I live. And if you watch my last video, which I'll go ahead and link for you here, that explains it. So that was probably weird. <laughs> and the best way that you can support me is literally just watching my videos from start to finish. That is the best way that you can support me without dishing out anything. Just your time, okay? Um, but I wanted to do a couple of quick things first. I wanted to show you something that I did start. So I'm obsessed with MJ's patterns and she has this one pattern called a gumdrop pullover which is basically one piece where you like start in the back then you make the arms the neck hole and then you finish with the front and this is what I've got so far just thought I'd show you here this is just one skin I have left over from my actual Rocky Mountain pullover that I made so I'm gonna need to clearly buy more because this is only one, and I think I need, like, ten more, probably. Um, but we'll get there when we get there. So, anyway, the, cr the scrunchie I'm going to make is going to be out of this stuff. It's just some chenille uh, yarn from Loops and Threads. I will link it, link it below if I can find it. I just got this a long time ago. I don't remember what I was even making. It's just nice and soft. And... The pattern, well, tutorial, I guess, that I'm going to use, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, is from Passionate Kelsey. Not my friend Kelsey. Maybe one day we'll be friends. Uh, but not my current, my friend Kelsey of Monochrome Design. This is Kelsey, um, Passionate Kelsey. So I'll link her tutorial below. It just came out today. It took her about 45, or 45, 50, uh, 14 minutes to... For the video but of course she sped it up so I'm wondering how long this will actually take me. I feel like it won't take too long which is awesome um, so we'll see but I'm gonna go ahead and make this as quickly as I can and then we'll put our hair up and we'll try on our beautiful sweaters so if you want to stick around for that uh, please stick around otherwise there will be timestamps as I mentioned down below so you can check out the sweaters and how well they might fit on me. Anyway, let's go ahead and make a scrunchie. Thank you. Not too shabby, right? I, this took about 25-ish minutes. Now, this is my first time doing this, so, you know, let's see. Let's see. Let's try it on. Hold on, let me, let me get you up a little bit higher, because I have a lot of hair. And we're just going to pull it all the way up. Oh. Yes. Check that out. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That's nice. Okay. Let's try on some sweaters. Check it out. Let's see if I can scoot back more. Not too shabby. Right? I like the length on this. 
but I do need to block it. It's a little... <laughs> or maybe it's just the shape of my body. But it's really nice. So, oh, and the sleeves, like, they're good length. I have one of those where I always, like, pull my sleeves anyway and do one of these. So, I've already tried this one on before, so let's try the blue one. I'll be right back. Wow. I love this. Um... This is really nice. I love this color. Don't you guys like this color? A royal blue. The arms are such a good length. The body is a good length. I might have to wear this tomorrow. No blocking necessary. Look at that. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> let me do this. Let's just do this right here. We'll get it from below. Okay, so actually, no, let's come back down. Okay, well, that was fun. I'm actually going to take this out for right now. I'll fix it in a minute. So, yeah, I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this very random video of me being sick, making sweaters and a scrunchie, <laughs> and just hanging out with me today. This is probably going to go out pretty late. I'm going to go edit this right now. I want to thank you guys, as always, for being here. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for coming back to my current subscribers. Everybody, just hello, hi, welcome. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I hope that you're having a really wonderful day today. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, let me know what you're working on. Let me know what you'd like to see coming up. I have a lot of things coming up. You guys gave me some good suggestions in my last video as to what you'd like to see next. And we'll get there. It's just, it, January's almost over, but we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there. So, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow, the rest of the week. I hope you are having just a great start to your year. And, you know, thanks for being here. I, I greatly appreciate you guys so much. Links to socials and everything down below if you're interested. Um, subscribe again if you haven't already. And of course, if you are sticking around, I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.